Hey everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate social login into your JetForm Builder form using the Nextend Social Login plugin. This will allow your user to log in with just one click, making the process seamless and user friendly. So let's get started. All right, first uh, let's go to plugin and we need to add new plugin. And so let's uh, look for, it's called a uh, next end social login. So it's right here. So let's install that. And let's hit activate. All right. So once you activate it, so go to settings and you will see next end social login. I'm going to use Google uh, for this demo, but you can use a Facebook or Apple, right? So let's uh, hit, um, get getting started button yeah just uh, pay attention to uh, step number 24 here yeah so just to make sure to copy and save the client id and id uh, client secret values as they are required for further settings okay all right so let's get started so the first one is we gotta navigate to a console developer uh, google because we're gonna be using google api All right, so I've already created a uh, uh, project in the past uh, for some projects. So um, if you haven't, you have to create a new project, okay? And it looks like I've already logged into a Google account. So it looks like my uh, project, project is already selected. So, but uh, yeah, let's uh, create a new project here. Okay, so let's name it to uh, social login and then okay uh this is my organization so that's okay and hit create all right and i think we need to select the project here oh i think it's creating right now so let's wait okay and then here we go so we're gonna select this so it looks like our api and the services is selected but if it's not just go to this hamburger menu Click and then uh, just to make sure this API service is selected. Okay. And then this, uh, the earth, earth uh, content screen, click that. And let's get started here. Click uh, this blue button. Now app name. So I'm going to just uh, put the uh, uh, social login. Okay. And then support email. So I'm going to use my email and hit next and then pick audience so i'm going to pick external uh, for this one and then hit the next uh, contact information so i'm going to just use uh, looks like you can put the multiple email address and then uh, agree to the google api service uh, user data for policy and hit continue and then hit create and the next one is uh, select um, the branding menu here and you can update the app name and the user support email here uh, if you need it. So I'm just going to leave it here. And the uh, app logo, so you can upload logo. Uh, looks like this is uh, not mandatory. So I'm going to skip that. Uh, next one is application homepage. And then, uh, yeah, I can put the homepage here, uh, but it's not mandatory. So I'm going to skip that. Uh, same as uh, privacy policy link and then uh, term of service link. Um, I'm gonna just skip here for now, but if you have those links, you should put that on. And then now next one is authorized domain. So that we need to add, this is mandatory. So I'm going to put uh, my domain right here. I said the uh, invalid domain must be, oh, maybe, so I don't need uh, this some domain then, just like that, okay. And then hit save. Now, the next one is uh, select this client's option and then click create a client. And then we're going to pick web application for application type and the name. So this name of um, uh, the auth 2.0 client. So this name is only uh, used to identify the client in the console and it will not be shown to end user. So uh, I can just leave that. 
Now, the next one is um, uh, authorize redirect URI. So let's add that. So now let's take a look here. So we need to add right here. So let's copy this. Paste onto that. Okay. And then hit the create. So right here, so we will need um, this client uh, client ID and this client uh, secret. So we're going to just copy this, these, and then uh, save it to uh, uh, in some document here. Yeah, I'm just going to use a like text editor and then just copy and paste just to keep it to a safe place for now. So it says here that um, the last one, the currently your app is in testing mode. So only limited number of people can use it to allow this app for any user with a Google account. Uh, click on the audience option on the left side and then click the publish app button under publish data this section and then press the confirm button. Okay, so let's do that. So right here, here is audience. Okay, so it's uh, now it's testing. So let's uh, click the publish app and then confirm. All right, so now it says it's on, uh, in production now. Okay, so so let's go back to um, this WordPress uh, screen here. All right, so I'm done setting up uh, Google app. Now, so I already uh, copy and paste somewhere else. That's my client ID and then client secret. And I hit the save changes. Now it says uh, your configuration needs to be verified. So let's do that. Okay, choose an account. So this one is my account. Okay, so by continuing, Google will share your name, email address, and profile picture with zenideas.ca. See zenideas uh, privacy policy and term of services. So you can manage. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so it uh, looks like it works fine. And now currently um, disabled. All right, so let's uh, enable that. Next, uh, I'm going to create a user login form. Okay, so I'm using a jet form builder and I'm gonna use add-ons. And uh, we are looking for this user login action, okay? Now, so you need to have, so let's click that. So this is a paid version, okay? You need to have pro version. So now once you log in, so you are able to download uh, all the add-ons, okay? Once you go to uh, the list of plugin, now you will see a Jet Form Builder use a login action, all right? Now let's go to then Jet Form Builder and then hit add a new. And this gonna be user login form. Okay, now you will see this user login, right? And just click that, and it automatically generates login email and password and remember me field. And I'll, of course, um, submit button. Yeah, let's modify it quickly. Uh, so this is uh, required, and this is also required. All right, so let's go to. Um, yeah, so the post submit action is already uh, pre-done. So let's just quickly look. So it's already pre-done. Uh, it's uh, mapping the field correctly. Okay. But uh, you need to tweak a little bit. Like instead of submit, uh, you want to change to like login. Okay. And if you want to, or probably you need to, like something like that, um, you know, successfully um, Low in. So you need to change the language quite a bit. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And the next, you need to find the short code. Okay. And then you need to paste this short code. All right. And hit save again. Now, next, uh, we're going to add the form to the page. So let's go to uh, add a new page. So I'm going to just use a login page. Okay. 
And I'm going to use uh, Elementor. And I'll show you how to display a page. Uh, just look for jet form and drag and drop. And then look for a form. So this is a user login form. Okay. And here we go. Now you see this short code like that. So don't worry, uh, it should work. Okay. And I'm going to just uh, go publish it. Now we need to go to settings and then I go to general and then uh, scroll down. Now this membership, anyone can register. So you need to enable that and uh, save changes. Okay, so let's check results. So I'm going to use a different browser because uh, I already log in here. So with my Safari, so I'm going to use Chrome. Now you can see login page here and you see continue with Google button. So let's click this. All right, so this is I'll try this my Google user or Google account. All right, so look at that. So it is already logged in and I can go to dashboard. OK. Now, one thing is that this Chrome, I already logged in as as a Google account. So for this Chrome browser, I've already um, have my Google account and I already sign into Google account. So that's why all I have to do is just click my user and it sometimes asks you my password. Um, but uh, if you don't have Google accounts, uh, let me show how this works. I'm going to open up with an uh, incognito window here. All right. And then I'm going to just go to login page. Now, if I click it, so it asks you to create your new account or continue with my account. And that's it. Now you have a fully integrated social login feature on your JetForm Builder form. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there is anything else you would like to see. That's it for now. See you next time.